Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Does It Still Work? Today, I really want to make battle cruisers. Battle cruiser openings in every matchup. Now I just queued against a Protoss, so that's perfect. Because I think against Protoss is probably the least common. But today, no matter who we get, I'll be playing battle cruisers. Hopefully this game doesn't take too long, so we can take, play another game. But, uh, you know, we're not in a hurry. As long as I get to make my battle cruisers, I'm happy. Now against Protoss... Battle cruisers are pretty good in the late game, but it's pretty much impossible to get there for the most part. I would like to try, but this episode is really going to be focused on battle cruiser openers, so I can, you know, pretty much do whatever I want after that, and we'll see. If I do see an opening to go for mass BC, I'll try. But the first step is to actually open battle cruiser and get away in a decent position. Now, I guess Protoss on this map, it's actually particularly good, I feel like, because there's like a lot of airspace behind the main. So if you teleport the BC to someone's base, you can pretty much always just escape to safety, which is super nice. And in general, all the edges, like, this is actually a lot of airspace. Like a marine, for example, wouldn't be able to hit a unit there. Like there is actually a decent amount of airspace in, the, in this map as well. So that should be really cool. Now, obviously, it all depends on what my opponent is going to do. I think if my opponent plays... Star actually I think with almost any tech they play I can go at least for two battle cruisers. I used to have a build that is like a tank push with two battle cruisers at the start. The only thing I'm afraid of with it when I play that is like, like if you go into bio like your stim and all that is so late. But if they hit like a really good timing with charge plus blink, you can be in some kind of trouble. So maybe if it's twilight, we're gonna have to take things a little bit slower. But besides that, I think we should be pretty good. Now, it's not a one-way solid, thank god. <laughs> Imagine having to play a battle cruiser opener against a one-way spurtal solid. Actually, on this map, they can also take the gold, huh? That would also be super, super scary. Now, in any case, I, th I think on this map, we should be able to scout what they do. This map has a lot of Reaper ledges and stuff like that. So that should be nice. One thing I don't want to forget is that I should get my third gas really fast so I can actually properly afford battle cruisers. Now let's see what the first unit is going to be. Could be a unit in the or a stalker I imagine. It is a stalker, okay. Yeah, I mean, usually that would lean a bit more towards Twilight, but I think that opening stalker first is so rare anyway that it's probably just... Uh, you know, an unpredictable opener. Like, I feel like no matter what the Protoss do, they always open with the Adept. And if they open Stalker, they either, either have something specific in mind or... Yeah, it could be it could be anything, to be honest. Actually, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Let's see if there's a Stalker up here, right? To deny the scout. No. Okay, then we can get in and get a free scout off. That's really nice. Stalker into... Oh, it's a Stargate. Okay. Yeah, actually, I, I honestly like BC the most against Stargate. Like, I actually don't dislike this at all. A Reaper might escape if the grenade hits. No. Unlucky. Okay. So we're gonna go for third gas. That gas could have been a bit faster, by the way. I actually I actually even reminded myself to do it, but it was still a little bit late. I'm a little bit scared of being scouted super fast. Like, that's the thing about Stargate, right? Their Phoenix can just fly straight across for Oracle. And then you might be in some trouble if they realize it's actually Battle Cruisers. Maybe if I had my mine a little bit faster, it could have been nice. Let's see what my Hellion sees here. Twilight. That's a pretty fast Twilight, actually. So this is like... Phoenix Charge, I would say. Um, okay. I actually think this is a little bit scary. I, don't, I was planning on doing BC into Tank Push fast, because it, it wasn't a fast Twilight. But since it is... Really fast Twilight after Stargate, that means it's probably going to be a fast charge. See, Battle Cruiser finishes. Going to cancel those Marines so I can actually make the BC. Now, I don't know if he realizes Battle Cruiser. I think he could know. Because my, my base honestly just looked super weird. And he's still on two bases as well, by the way, guys. This is actually a pretty weird play from Protoss here. Maybe I should have made like another mine or something. I think I should go for a third CC. That's what I should do. Because the tank push here doesn't really feel like it's gonna work out. So I might as well just get that third down a little bit faster. I do need to make sure to bunker up properly though. Like I don't wanna be uh, 
getting overrun by a random zealot attack at any point. Not I think I could even make like an eBay. Not enough minerals. Get myself a little bit safer. It's a nice wall as well. Now I'm thinking about scanning the Protoss base to see if there's a void right on the way, for example. That's one of the things that really counter uh, battle cruisers. Let's see. There is a battery, no void ray, however. So I'm just gonna try it out. I think I can actually target that battery pretty fast. And then at home, I have to add some barracks. Okay, I got the battery. That's nice. F Phoenixes actually do like no damage against BCs, by the way. Uh, I did take a bit too much damage from the stalker, so I think I might actually lose it. To be honest. It's pretty, like, you can see how little damage they actually do. Killing that battery was huge as well. Let me make sure he doesn't send back the low one. I think I actually took too much damage from the Stalkers, guys. Ah, uh, damn. This is a very bad opener. Can I kill one? Okay, we got... It's actually funny to watch those trades, how awful the Phoenix do. But yeah, I, I took, like, legit... I don't know how many hits I took from the Stalkers, but it was already too many. Uh, so now we're going to be in a little bit of trouble for sure. So I do have another BC coming out. I think I'm gonna use my battle cruiser as distraction if I'm if I'm pushed. That's what I'm gonna do. Because my biggest concern is just that I get attacked like fast, right? Let's see. He already made remade the battery. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, for the macro game, honestly, this build, it it flows pretty well. Like, this is all fine. But if there's, like, a big zealot attack, I'm actually not very confident I can defend it. So I'm going to bunker up a little bit extra here, more than I normally would. Maybe I'll even make my additional barracks at the front. Okay. I mean, he does have charge. I, uh, I guess uh, we already predicted that. I've been talking about it for, like, a few minutes now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually gonna make my barracks here as well. That should be that should be pretty nice, I think. Prism in the main could be a problem. Maybe we get some turrets then. Any mine that I get will help as well. Like the th he could also be playing like Colossi, but you know he was on what is it two bases for so long that I'm kind of doubting that it's a normal macro follow, but it could be. Let's see. Okay, he does have four gases. Robo is nowhere to be seen, however. So that's a little bit of an unfortunate scan. That was the next step. I definitely don't think I can move out, if I'm honest. I, I really think I should be content here. You know, not, not dying and all that. The only thing I should make sure of is that there's no, like, fast gold or anything like that. Sometimes on ladder, I'm, I wouldn't be, be surprised if they took my gold, to be honest. Like, it actually wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me at all. I could get Yamato. I did lose one battle cruiser though already, so... Probably not too valuable. That was a lot of Phoenix now. It looked like a, an absolute crap ton of units when I looked on the minima. The center tower here as well. Wow. Okay, that's actually... An, okay, it must be Colossus then. Right? Who would make that many phoenixes, no? Without actually playing... Or is it carrier, maybe? Wait, that base is... Okay, so yeah, so he has the gold. Okay, okay. That's a Stargate. Oh, it is carriers. Weird. Wait, that's like no units, man. I'm actually so confused right now. Is he supposed to only have uh, that uh, amount of units? Is anyone else weirded out or just me? Is there something hidden? Like another Stargate, like what? That is kind of nuts, guys. Okay, he does have a decent amount. See, just got a kite. Mine's going off, but I didn't even really see what they triggered on, to be honest. How many Phoenixes is that, dude? Oh my god! I'm actually scared to continue, like, that's, that Phoenix is good lift, that amount of Phoenix could lift up my entire army. I'm not even kidding right now, I need some ghosts in here, I think. Also, I don't have an armor with this, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, I'm actually gonna run away from this, like... I honestly don't want to have anything to do with that many Phoenixes. <laughs> this is scary, but... Okay, I guess we take it a little bit slow, then. At least... Build, like, a turret here. 
I mean, I, if, as long as we get ghost, I think I think we're pretty good. Like carriers might be on the way at some point, but it is not the, quite the scariest thing when you're playing. Uh, like there's no like colossals or disruptors or storm or anything out yet, right? So carriers on their own and until they become like a very high count should be something I can deal with. No, barely couldn't kill that. That's unfortunate. Okay. Let's see, how many ghosts should we make? Probably just like enough. Like legit, if, if, if that's his army and we EMP the phoenixes, it's pretty much just done um, for him, I think. Especially if we get the EMP upgrade done. Okay, that's huge. Big EMP number one. Keep in mind that EMP doesn't actually drain all the energy. It only drains half on those. Now let's see what his next step is. Is it carriers? Oh. That's a big ass EMP again. Is it enough? Oh, that was a huge bit of mine. I need one more ghost in here. Legit. I want one more EMP on those. That's all I want. Okay, there's the carriers. He actually um, used the turbo overcharge on the battery. And yeah, the most annoying thing is that I simply cannot keep medevacs alive like okay. yeah, I think we pretty much got all of them now let's see I'm actually scared of those mines those mines could actually trigger on the on the interceptors and kill my army like This looks like a pretty good position for us. Yeah, the scariest thing that could happen is just we run out of medevacs and the carrier count gets too high now. Yeah, like the, the mines actually could only kill my own units. Exactly. He's getting a few too many carries for my liking. I think this might start uh, being a scary game. To be honest. I'll just keep EMPing the Phoenixes, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to get a little bit scary. Like the interceptors are just too much. I think we may have lost this game at this point. I'm, I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try, but it's not looking too positive right now. I think we're gonna make some extra barracks. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just need to wait to gather some more medevacs and stuff. <laughs> the constant EMPs. Yeah, we need some more medevacs. Let's see, 84 SCVs. And we, we max on Marines. I literally just pray that, you know, there's no Colossi or Disruptors or anything like that coming out. I think it's too much right let's see all right well battlecruiser game number one uh is a loss let's try again all right so this game we queued into max packs so you know we just lost to we just lost to a 5.5k mmr protoss but uh now we got a 6.8k one so now it's definitely gonna work that's how it works right guys you guys still believe in me right <laughs> Okay, I mean, to be honest, last game we had a pretty awful start. I lost my battle cruiser pretty much instantly. Um, still managed to make a decent game out of it. Like, I think that build with the BC, it actually does flow pretty well. But obviously, if the entire point of your build is ruined by you being a silly goose at the start, then it's going to be hard to climb out of it. So this game, at least our mission is to keep uh, our battle cruiser alive. <laughs> for, for the first part, at least. Now, it's a little bit tricky against Max Packs, to be honest, because Max Packs does a lot of builds that would honestly kill me before I get a battle cruiser. So how exactly I'm going to survive that, I'm not so sure. Uh, but hopefully we'll find it out as this game goes. Because I definitely would not like to end this on a loss. I mean, well, this obviously is a very scientific kind of video, right? Like, does it still work? If it doesn't work, it's not my fault. It's just, it, just, it just doesn't work, you know? It just doesn't work. Obviously not on me, guys. I, I, pl I played perfect, it's just the build doesn't work, doesn't work, you know, it's crazy. Where's my Roomba set? Oh no. Ah, uh, it escaped me. There's no way the Roomba actually just 
escape my clicks. How about this one? Die. Um, okay. Actually, it took a lot of damage on that probe already, so I should be able to get my CC down just in time. Not bad at all. Sometimes you get your CC delayed by like 120 minerals. It feels awful. Okay. Now, what should I do different from last game? Um, well, first of all, Max Pack doesn't really play Stargate. Like, the thing is, Phoenixes are so bad against Battlecruisers, but if you take just enough damage on it from anything else, they can finish the job because you can't hide from Phoenixes, you know. So, at least Max Pack doesn't play Stargate, so he won't be able to kill me once I'm in the corner. But I do feel the most comfortable playing against Stargate with the Battlecruisers, so I guess... Yeah, we're gonna have to see how that goes against his uh, usual Twilight openings. I guess I can just be happy he hasn't proxied me yet. He does like to do that a lot as well. Oh, he lets me in. That's really nice. Probably gonna get a free scout here. Might even keep the Reaper alive. Twilight. Yep. Oh, actually, I should have grenaded. Oh, no, I'm fine. Okay. That was really close. I, I should have grenaded. That was a little bit of a micro mistake there by me. But uh, it's gonna go unpunished, luckily. When you see a Stalker, you can always grenade. Because Stalkers are so big and clunky, it's actually... They can't just dodge the grenade by sidestepping or no, by shading through it like an Adept. They actually have to kind of walk around it. So a grenade does create a pretty big gap between the Reaper and the Stalker. So I think we're gonna get the third gas now. The third gas used to be... Oh, no, not like this. I'm gonna lose before I even get to make battle cruise. Well, actually, maybe this is not bad, honestly. Because, um... He's not gonna be able to scout anymore after. Like, losing the, uh... Workers for this really sucks. But actually, in the big picture, I don't know if it's so bad, considering I'm playing battle cruiser. Because now he's probably not gonna be able to scout that... Uh, third gas that I have. Which could be a sign for him. But yeah, losing SEVs when I'm probably gonna have to defend the cheese. Not ideal, not ideal. Okay, he's actually making expansion. This is what I find a little bit weird. Like, I don't know. I swear, like 90% of the games, Max Black plays 4 gate blink or DT drop. And this base seems really fast for a DT drop. Uh, but maybe yeah, I'm wrong. Let's see. There is a Robo. I mean, as to be expected. I don't see... I mean, he's making a lot of Stalkers. But there's no DT Shrine. I'm a little bit scared still. Because I know he's going to put on some pressure for sure. I think he's, what he's probably going to do is he's going to go with... Maybe just one Prism. Uh, or, yeah, just one Prism full of Stalkers. Like four... Or maybe he'll actually blink it to my base with like 7 instead of like 12. Something like that is kind of what I'm expecting here. And maybe I can use that time to teleport the PC into his base. Now this game I'm gonna do uh, this game I'm gonna do a little bit different. I'm gonna add my 3 racks fast instead of the 3rd CC. See if that works out. Though I do need to see a sign of him attacking me. Else teleporting the PC across would honestly be... Oh no. Okay, I don't think I don't think he realized. I saw an observer right here, uh, but this this might as well be a raven, to be honest. Like this is actually nothing uh, nothing crazy that he's seeing here. So there, I'm not sure. Okay, stalkers are here. This is perfect. Now he's probably gonna have to use a recall on that. Yeah. Well. Gonna kill a few pros and uh, get out. And the thing is, this looks like a waste of a BC. But this also means his entire pressure is pretty much over, right? Uh, because he's gonna have to keep Stalkers in his main to deal with that. Though he could still harass me with one Prism. That's something Max Max is really good at. Uh, doing like small harassment and stuff. Uh, that's at least five Stalkers at home. Uh, honestly, we can't complain about that. This is, uh, this is pretty nice. Nine Stalkers. They're all at home. Now, do I want to drag it out into the late game? That's the question, right? I'm definitely going to have to push at some point because I did make those barracks so fast. Uh, 
But I also need to add my third command center. When can I do that? And also, there's an observer here somewhere. I'm, I'm sure of it. I just don't know quite where it is. <laughs> That's the worst part. Like, I don't want to... I, I, it hurts so much when you randomly scan for an observer and it's not there, you know. That's legit just... Might as well stab me, you know. It, it's just awful. Okay. So, I'm going to try to do a very sneaky play here. I'm going to drop into the main. Battle cruise in the natural and attack at the front with my main army. Now, Max Max is usually a Colossus player, which I think would be ideal for me in this case. If it's Storm, however, I would feel like I'm in a little bit of trouble. Let's see, he sent some Stalkers to the front to harass me again. Or maybe just to check, honestly. Um, that's totally reasonable as well. I do feel like my army is decent, but I definitely notice a little bit of lack in supply compared to uh, more normal build orders, I have to say. Research complete. There's too much in gas here. Let's take those out. There's a prism into my main. Good third placement, though. Okay, I'm going to have to go really hard here. Um... Let's see what he has at the front. I don't know what he has in the front. Battlecruiser is doing a pretty good job here, honestly. Like, he's struggling a bit to keep up. But at the same time, it is pretty tough for me as well. Now, this actually looks like a really good fight. Battlecruiser is going ham. Front to push is going ham. Drop in the main as well. I just need to survive here somehow. Yeah, that Battlecruiser is absolutely going ham, dude. How many kills is on that BC? Holy shit. Let's see, let's see if we can bait him into the mines. Not just one, I want multiple into the mines. Okay. Oh, my mines did absolutely nothing. Okay. They probably killed my own units, looking at it. like. <laughs> He's actually defending this surprisingly well. Let's take a top medevac. It's a little bit harder to target. Okay, like I'm, I have no idea how my mines at home just did absolutely nothing. I guess, uh, I guess that's normal. Oh, I have to... Not like this, guys. Not like this. I killed so many workers, though. But is it enough? Do I have concussion? I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, we lost the base as well. And to be honest, this kind of seems like the Battlecruiser opener has failed again. Um, and yeah, th this, this, this game honestly is kind of proof that it doesn't work anymore. Because I'm going to be real with you, I kind of owned him here. <laughs> like, I feel like everything went as well as it could have. Obviously, I... Uh, you know, could have played even better, but if even these plays are not enough, then it does become very questionable that uh, the opener can still work. I'm obviously going to try one more desperation attack here. God, they have zealots are so good. Let's see. Oh, there's actually not even really any units here, to be honest. Yeah. All right. GG. Battlecruiser openers do not work against Protoss. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this test. I saved you guys some MMR after all. Think about it that way. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Love you guys. Don't forget to sub and like. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.